Hello, Connor Barrett, and welcome. Hello, thank you. You were doing uh, various kinds of work on uh, yes. the new Rocco Magone film, uh, Garage. I was wondering if you could tell us how did you get involved with the project? How did you meet Rocco? Um, well, I really, I never personally met Rocco at first to say. My dad is friends with his good friend's father that he met in way back in middle school, like 40 some years ago. So. They, I kind of just met him one day, and then it just went okay. from there. So tell us about your role in Garage and the various things that you were doing specifically for the film. I was just, in Garage specifically, I kind of just, I was just there and I just pitched my ideas to Rocco and both Tyler's and Jace and everyone there to see what would work, what shots would be best, what what the fight scenes should look like. A lot of the specific physical movies yeah. and things and props and what have yeah. you. Okay, that's great. I was wondering, so obviously if you got involved with the project, you enjoy, grew up enjoying movies. Oh yeah. So is there one or two movies that always kind of inspired you? And, and mm. beyond that, has your love of movies, how did that, change necessarily with being hands-on with a production like this? I've always been into like the Tim Burton movies type style, like mm -hmm. Claymation. I'm a huge fan of Nightmare Be Before Christmas okay. and Coraline too, I like Coraline. Those horror type things. I think there's some specific scenes that include some of that incorporated. Like there's a scene with ink that that was, that was a trial for me because the ink was very sticky and I just could not move it for the life of me. So it can, <laughs> what, what you end up working with then can oftentimes be a lot more difficult than yes. you would imagine it to be. Cause I, I thought it would be easy to move, it just wasn't. It would just, I had to put gloves on and it was sticking to the rubber gloves. So I just could not move it. It was like just straight glue. So do you have um, like further interest to stay involved with these kinds of productions in terms of like behind the scenes work and what have you? I believe so. It's, it's fun, but it's definitely hard because most of the time I'm just sitting there hoping a scene goes right. It's just like hard to understand, yeah. Well, very good. Well, thanks for taking the time with us, Connor. Appreciate it. Thank you.